Hey guys, welcome to Chili Dong Bay. It's actually a lot warmer today. It's minus five degrees. Um, so I thought I'd be brave enough to do this video outside. It's just so funny how the body adjusts. Like if you would have put me in minus five degrees like a month ago, I would have completely freaked out. But now like I've been in like minus 20, minus 25 here these past few weeks. I'm like, yeah, minus five. Let's like take all the clothes off. But anyway, there'll be no clothes coming off this episode. Just a little disclaimer. Um, what I will be doing is showing you what's in my bag. Um, I thought it would be good to do this little episode because uh, some people are not really too sure what they should keep on them um, in, when you're in China, whether you're traveling or living or whatever. Uh, so I thought I'd just uh, give you a little sneak peek. Oh, well, not really a sneak peek. I'm going to show you everything. First thing first, my phone. I don't go anywhere without my phone in China because it's literally like your lifeline. If I go somewhere without my phone, I feel completely lost because I literally do everything on my phone. I pay for things. I navigate myself around. Like, it just seems more essential in China than any other country. Um, and I feel like I'm on my phone a lot more in China than any other country. So for that reason, another essential item in my bag is my portable charger. I feel like if you have a phone in China, you'll also have a portable charger. I would recommend you get something with at least 10,000 um, MPH. I think it is the technical term. MAH. At least 10,000 mAh, because that'll give you at least three good charges in your phone or whatever device you wish. Oh, you'll also notice that I don't have a wallet in here um, because I do all my payment on my mobile phone in China. And it's always so nice just like flicking out the phone and paying. Um, and whenever I get back home or go to another country, I always think it's so annoying that I actually have to use a wallet. So yeah, first world problems, but uh, there it is. Another thing I always have in my bag is my headphones. Got to listen to those Chinese podcasts and radio to stay on top of my Mandarin. Another thing, I've really been getting into using um, portable and reusable uh, cups because especially in winter here, I'm drinking like two coffees a day and a cup of tea a day. And, and I just feel like it's a good thing to do for the environment to reduce the amount of waste I'm putting out there. Um, I'm not perfect, but I'm trying to get better when it comes to that. But yeah, I like this little cup here because it can like squash down into something really tiny. So I literally have no excuse not to bring it with me everywhere. Um, oh, my nose is running like a tap in this weather. Oh, which brings me to a great segue, which is I always have cold and flu tablets on me um, in China because I never know when I'm going to come down with a cold, especially when I first re-enter China. I always seem to come down with like a little, a little something. Oh, here's a good one. Hand warmers. This is a lifesaver in this freezing cold temperatures. So it comes with like this little a container thing and then you get out one of these babies, you put it inside and it warms up and it keeps, it stays warm for like six hours. I, I love them. Um, it probably counterbalances the good I'm doing with my uh, reusable cups with all this plastic packaging got to do something about that. Another thing I always have in my bag, call me paranoid or whatever, I always have my passport on me. Um, P.S. How cute is this little passport holder? It's called <laughs> La Wai Hu Jiao, foreigner passport. It always makes the people at the airport and um, stations who check my passport laugh. Um, and if you want to grab one for yourself, it's um, one of my favorite um, brands that do China products called La Wai Mi and you can check out the link below. Um, so yeah, I always carry my passport because as, technically it's like a rule that foreigners always carry their passport with them at all times. It's only once in my entire time in China that I've been stopped on the street um, by a policeman asking to see my passport and that was in Xinjiang um, and they're a little bit more wary of that kind of stuff over there. But yeah, I just like to have it on me in case at all times. Um, it just makes me feel a bit better. And, um, and a lot of tourist attractions as well, uh, like mountains or big tourist attractions pretty much, you'll have to show your, um, your passport. And of course, whenever you travel anywhere, you'll always have to have your passport. So for me, it's just like a bit of a, I don't know, maybe a bit of a paranoid thing. I always just like to have it on me, just to like know where it is. Because if I don't have this, I'm essentially like, I don't, I don't know what I'd do. <laughs> I'd freak out if I lost my passport. Another thing I always have on me for those long train rides or plane journeys is my Kindle. I'm always reading something. It's usually shit, um, so don't think me any kind of intellectual over here. This thing I always have, oh, uh, my camera equipment. 
So my kit is very, very small. I hate carrying around bulky camera equipment. So I really mostly, like 90% of the time, just use two cameras. Uh, the first one is the one I'm using right now to film this, so I can't show it to you. But if anyone is interested, it's a RX100 Mark VI. And it's just a super small vlogging camera. It's got a screen that flips up so I can see my face. The other thing I always have around with me is my Osmo Pocket uh, by DJI. Um, it's the best. It's just like a, a like a mini gimbal so that means that my camera kit is super tiny I can literally carry it around in any purse that I have um, one thing I haven't got in here that I usually always always have and it's really bad of me to not have it on me right now are tissues um, you need to always have tissues on you in China um, because a lot of the public bathrooms you go into they won't have toilet paper and I have found myself more than once in a bit, bit of an awkward situation where I've had to do the the shake Another item that literally has only come to my bag in the last few days is a, um, a mask, a face mask. So a lot of people use these masks for pollution, but actually I have to say I've really never used them because I've just been super lucky with pollution when I'm traveling around um, and I haven't had an excuse to that the pollution has been bad enough for me to actually wear one. Um, the last time I bought one, I think it was like 2014, um, my first year in China when I was all like paranoid, like, ah, pollution. Mm. So the reason this has come into my bag um, in the last few days, I actually went and bought face masks yesterday, um, is because of the Wuhan virus outbreak that I'm sure you probably will have, would have heard of. Um, I don't know when this video will be released, um, but yesterday for me, um, Xi Jinping made his announcement about the virus and um, that's kind of kicked off a lot of alarm. Um, and there's like lines at pharmacy for people buying face masks and um, yeah it's all really scary especially since Chinese New Year is coming up at the end of this week so um, yeah I'm, I'm a little bit worried about the whole thing um, and I'm also a hypochondriac I worry about diseases uh, so I'll be wearing this for the next few weeks at least until I'm out of China and I just cross my fingers and pray to the gods where and if they are uh, that there is a speedy resolution to all of this and that some super scientist comes up with a, a wonder uh, injection. What do you call them? What do you call those injection things that save you? Anti-venom? No. Anyway, I just hope that the super scientists come up with a way of um, getting this virus away from us. Okay, little editor's note, these face masks, slightly fashionable, although they may be, effective they are not. Um, apparently the best thing to do is to get yourself a surgical face mask like this one. Um, apparently it's a lot better at uh, keeping the virus out of your system. Oh, another addition I wanna make is that uh, the last few days I've been using those hand warmers inside my shoe, and it's the best idea I've ever had in my life. My, my feet are so nice and toasty. And then the last last item I have in here, it always drops to the bottom because it's super small, um, is my chapstick. Um, in winter it's absolutely essential, like my lips dry out so bad in this, um, this climate. So I'm like constantly reapplying the stuff. I have like two backup chapsticks in my bag. <laughs> Not this bag, but my bigger bag. Um, and yeah, that bigger bag is just another story. I don't think I'd ever make a video about that because it's just so damn messy. Yeah. Anyway. That is my bag and what is inside it. I hope it's been useful or yeah, whatever it's been. Um, thank you so much to Teddy Blake uh, for giving me this lovely bag. And if you wanna grab a bag like this for yourself, um, I've got the link in the description below. And if you'd like a little visual on how this bag looks on me, well, here you go. So yeah. I'm gonna go eat some dumplings um, and I wish you all a very lovely day. Bye guys.